Okay, in CSS, you also have the opportunity to apply several classes. Uh, we've seen so far that you can apply classes to any element. Uh, if you run this exercise, you'll see that we have like a poker card. It's telling us to replace the class property spades of the div with the class heart. It's super cool because you'll see that I have Let's uh, talk about this project. We have a card class that makes it look like a class, like a card. I'm gonna put a second card here so that we can explain how it, this is working right now. So class, and this one is just card. I'm just gonna say it's a card and that's it. I'm gonna say the, the suit. Oh, I forgot about the, about the, the number. Let's say it's a, it's a five, okay. You can see here the five is a card. Look, it's a card. It looks like a card. Why? Because it has the card class. If you inspect it, right click and inspect it, 100% recommended. You can actually move around it and see the elements that, and you can actually click on those elements. And on the right side, you will see the class being applied to those elements. Look, if I move this a little bit up, if I click on the first one, it tells me the styles for the first one. But if I click on the second one, it takes me the tiles for the second one. So I can see that the dot class card is being applied and I can see which rules display with height, position. So if I remove the height or if I remove the width, they become smaller, both, because both have the same class applied. So when I change the width rule in the card class, both will get smaller. Okay, so an another amazing thing is that you can apply several several classes. So if I have another class spades or heart or heart, I can just apply the class heart to it by by pressing the space bar like this and then pasting the name of the car of the class. Now this div with the number five is a card with the suit heart. So if I run it again, you'll see that this one looks like a heart. And this one looks like spades and it has the colors of a heart. And that's how a website is built. Basically, you have a bunch of rules combined in several, strategically, in several class names. And then you apply multiple classes. You never apply, it's very odd to apply just one class. Normally, you apply several of them because that makes it a lot easier to reuse. I'm reusing card thanks to the way that the CSS is structured. You, there's an, there's many ways of structuring CSS. There's like four. Uh, so the CSS uh, structuring, I think one it's called uh, BMM, I think. The BAM structuring, yeah. So that's one of them that proposes a particular way of, of using classes with class names with for example, you can just by tell by the name of this class, what type of class or how is this class? What are the rules that this class will have? So header nav will be, it's a header, right? So I'm, I'm thinking this class must have um, everything that it needs so that it looks like a header in the navigation, but it's not the same as the header in the search. So that's how BAM proposes. But there are other ways. You, BAM is not the only one. You have BAM, look, see if you go to Google, you will find BAM versus CSS BAM versus, and you can see that here's are all the possible ways, OX, BAM, and SMAX. It's just how to organize it. It doesn't bring any particular knowledge, any additional knowledge. Uh, I think it's something worth reading. This is what I'm using right now. You can see a class media and the class image all together, and then you apply the styles. BAM is different with the underscores, and then you have OX or SMAX, my bad, that it's different, basically. I, I really don't know much about SMAX, to be very frank, open with you guys. But that's how it works.